This way you're feeling you forward, you're supposed here. to land like right underneath. So give it a little run, let's make fun of you. Hello and good morning everyone! Good morning everybody! Oh, you are just a whole other level. I never get to be in the like the open open with you, I don't feel like. Not as much as I would like. Because you're just a little too much too fast. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, kidding. I'll just go back this way. You don't want to do it today, Mom. <laughs> the beginning of the week, the sun is shining. It feels amazing. I need the sunshine. That's something I've learned about myself for the past few years. I need sunshine. But more than I need sunshine today, I need new shoes. Not the kind of shoes you're all thinking of because you're like, Mindy, I'm sure you have plenty of shoes. No, I need new running shoes. I've had a few problems with my knee, my foot, with my everything that I am thinking and being told by several of you, actually, that I probably need new running shoes. I've been running with some, I think they're called Nike Turbo Max Pegasus something 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 all I know is they cost a lot of money and I was like well if they cost a lot of money they're probably awesome no that doesn't mean that does not mean that so we are going to go to an actual running store for Christmas if you guys remember Brandon can link it here he gave me a gift card for some new running shoes he says I got you a gift card so you can get the nicest pair of shoes that they have we're gonna go they're gonna assess me running they're going to see how I walk how I run all the things and they'll be able to choose the right shoe for me hi are you still doing this <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> running running run. so anyways <laughs> Come along with me. We'll see if Brandon makes it. I might throw him out of the car on the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to go hang out with mom. We're gonna do a little shoe shopping. I'm trying to get him Woo! to go in and out with me and he won't. You saw in yesterday's video, we have revealed the location of our spring break, which is Turks and Caicos. I don't have to bleep that out now. I gotta get beach bod ready, you guys. The spring break, <laughs> as much as you can get beach bod ready at my age, but. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I want in and out today. We'll see if I can talk him into it. We're gonna go get running shoes and then go to in and out Oh my God. <laughs> So he said basically what you do is whenever you're running you wear a half size bigger than your actual shoe size. So I'm normally oh. an eight and I don't even know that I did that with these shoes. These are an eight, so <gasps> apparently. Oh my gosh, great. that's the source of all your problems. Great. Oh, she's gonna fit me now. <laughs> Hazy. What size am I? That's big enough I could fit my goofy foot. I'm a 39. A three? A three? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think so too. They said they usually, if it's your first time in a running store buying shoes, they'll watch you. They'll probably have me run. He's gonna bring out a There's few like shoes. There's like a little track in here. You can actually run around a track. Yeah. Trying out a lightweight shoe? Yeah, he says he just basically wants to see what I'm doing. It feels weird because I feel like I have so much room in my shoe, which I'm not used to, but Something you want to give think about. room for your foot to swell. Yeah, so you've been wearing the exact right size like you would normally wear, but then yeah. the foot swells, and that's going to make it so that it's too small, and you said you've been having numb toes. Yeah, I've been having my three little toes have been going numb, and I also wonder if that's why, like, maybe I lost my toenail last summer. Oh my gosh, Because I was wearing maybe. them too small. Kind of crazy the stuff that they, like, walk you through that you wouldn't normally, like, I would just walk into a store and find something that looks cool and fit. <laughs> I like the color of these. He's breaking out an iPad. You're gonna do some running. He's gonna check like gait, stride, where you put your weight, like yeah. everything. I'm gonna get some real deal running shoes. I'm kind of today. excited to see what they say. There, back, there, no one. This is so cool. They've got an app where they've actually got a recording of her running on an iPad and then they check out all of these stats, like how her legs are moving, how they're separated, what her stride is like, gait. I don't really know any of these terms at all, so don't quote me on any of them, but how cool is it though? You don't just walk in and buy a shoe. I think I just said this a minute ago, but typically for me, if I was going to go running, I would just go buy a really nice, cool looking pair of Nikes that fit me, but there is so much more involved when you're actually going to be using them to run, to compete, to train. And Minnie's never done that. We've never done that. We've never gone to the lengths of getting the right shoe, the right fit for her personally customized to her running style and that's what we're doing today we're getting an actually fully customized not customized because it's gonna be right out of the box but it's gonna be specific to her needs and what she needs to train and to run and we're hoping this will alleviate some of the injuries some of the setbacks that she's had already super impressed here that they're getting out all this technology and they're having her run outdoors just try a bunch of different shoes and then rerun and retest until we find the one that's gonna work best for her light pronation Mindy, what are you doing? Anyone feel like going for a run? So this is a little device, a contraption of sorts that she sticks her thumbs in. It's oh. supposed to pull your arms back, right? That's the idea? Yeah, it's supposed to pull my arms back so I'm running more with like my chest forward, forward instead of I've been like running with like my body so your pulling your heels backwards. hitting out this way, sending a lot of like shock through your knees and back. This way you're feeling it's forward, you're supposed weird. to land like right underneath. So give it a little run, let's make fun of you. Here we go. Weird. Get set, go. <laughs> It's very unnatural. That's the point though, that's why you gotta stick your thumbs in that thing. 
Daisy, you're beating her. How does that feel? Keep your daddy. Keep your thumbs in there. Does it feel different? I went as fast as she went as fast. So I was running so fast. You were so fast, I think you won. I did. <laughs> does mommy look kind of funny with her arms and those strings? Yeah. But she's getting good at running, huh? Well, could I run with her whenever she comes back? You want to run again? Yeah. Here she comes. Okay, Here she comes. Mom, her again. Oh. How you feeling, Mom? Good. The chicken wing work? Reminds me of like a <laughs> So now he said he's gonna bring me out a stack of shoes and he's like, now we're just gonna try and see what feels best. Take one off, we're gonna try a couple different ones. So you can put one on one foot, one on the other. So you just like better. Eliminate the one that doesn't feel as good. And we are not going for the one cuteness here. That's These are cute. cute. I like that. A lot of running shoes I've seen are not very cute. I know, but to keep you running. If they running, feel good though, that's all I care about. Oh my god, stop. I have my things in the thing. <laughs> you have your things in the thing. So we're going through the process of elimination. She just tried on two pair and did not like the new like one. She one. likes the first one, so. I think that's kind of because I've warmed it up. You know, I've been wearing it for a while. Yeah, you've been doing really a few like laps, it. but I like it too. And it's cute. But now we're comparing it against this one, so. These are Brooks. This is a different brand. The other brand is Saucony. Am I saying that right? <laughs> Well, they don't sock any, we know that. They're pretty good. I feel like a noob. Through the process of elimination, we've narrowed it down to two shoes. These are our two semifinals right here. The sauce knees, what do you call them? Sock knee? I don't know. Oh, sock knee. It's for the sock and the knee. Oh, Anyways, and then the ultras. Ultras, ultimas, mm. Nissan, let's go. I have these tied differently than I have these tied. Let's we'll see if you can do that fun fancy tie on that one so you can get a true comparison. We might have a new champion after comparing like, those two. This one was hanging in there. This is the very first shoe she tried on when we got here. And nothing I like that has one a lot. It. But now, kind of feeling the ultras. Something to it, a little bigger, kind of clown shoe front. They kind of feel like that, but you know what? Who cares? You just want to basically not even realize you're wearing shoes. That's why he's like, you just want to feel like you're running and nothing. Like, Fair you point. also want to focus on feeling good rather than focusing on every step you're taking. You want to focus on like your half marathon instead of your shoes. Why well, took a lot of space up there? Someone like me. No. This was my Christmas. But the key is the shoulder. I got my new shoes. I can't wait to run in them. I'm so excited. I am it pumped. Feels... Oh, mommy wore them out of the store. You're I rocking did. them right now. Let me wear so them. So guys, not only are they the new shoes, they got a double secret knot on the tying. I don't know what the deal is with that. But... Who knew that tying your shoes could make such a difference in the way you walked, but he tied it so that it's tied around my ankle right here. Yep. There's a special tie right there. And then he skipped this whole portion of the arch Took of my some foot. some pressure off the arch. Knot tying tricks. Ultras. Okay, I'm stoked though. So I'm excited. I hope this helps a lot. So I'm so excited. Excited I can't for you to wait. finally have your very first pair of like legit and I got shoes. to talk to the owner inside there and he gave me a ton of awesome tips. The yes, guy that the helped guy who us helped was, us was awesome. amazing. Like seriously, so much personal attention. Today. Absolutely love this experience today. I'm just stoked to see how these work out because it's the first time you've ever got like fully like customized shoes in the sense that like it's specific to your needs, your running style, yeah. what you want. So the funny kind. Kids just got home from school and they had a pretty amazing day at school today. Mom did not pack a lunch this morning. Well, they asked if they could have a school lunch and I'm glad that Sent we decided. Sent them off with a hot lunch option at school. The kids came in flipping out. What was hot lunch today? So, Dr. Seuss? Dr. Seuss's birthday today, right? Okay. Yes. So first of all, they handed us eggs that were green for green eggs and ham. Then they handed Wait. us ham, green eggs, ham, a donut. They also gave a us donut? a donut. What does a donut have to do and with Dr. Like, Seuss? Mm. And then like everything else was green. And there was this stuffing that I got and I got what? green grapes. So what? Sure, every grape is green, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> but um and then on the second table there was a bunch of guacamole and stuff. So I Wait, got so it was like totally green themed, which is kind of a St. Patrick's Day vibe, I would have thought. But it was Dr. Seuss's birthday. And Brexit, tell me about the punch. You said something about the punch they had. So there was like this punch that had like well I'm gonna start with the water first. Okay. There was water that had oranges at the top, but then Ooh. at the bottom it had like like sour candies oh, and then it was like sour. in the water there were sour yeah. candies and it just said water and then there was sour water and then for the punch it said <laughs> blue punch and then it said for the punch it said one fish two fish punch <laughs> dude what an incredible lunch so totally 
accidentally the kids had the greatest lunch of their lives today because of Dr. Seuss's birthday and they were flipping out about the green eggs and ham. Like Brexton kept saying on the drive home, he's like, no, real green eggs. Like actual green eggs. And crew was like, and big, thick chunks of ham. They were pumped, you guys. So good lunch for the kids today celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday. Who knew? Did you guys know? Actually, probably millions of people knew. We just didn't know. We're noobs. I just gotta tell you real quick because we had a great time with the kids. They tell were, us, Brandon. Yes, I will. <laughs> Let me elaborate on this for you. Mom cleaned out the garage and like crushed it out there. Like it was kind of becoming that wintry, disastrous mess when like all the becoming, mud and junk. It had been that. It had been that way for a little while. <laughs> totally organized, swept out. It looks fantastic. It, like it's just so much nicer when you can actually walk out to your car and not trip over 20 things. Clean up that. I had a great time with Brexy tonight because the other two boys went out and played with friends. Hazy went with mom. And Brexy and I just went around the block like 50 times. I was on the one wheel, he was on his rollerblades. I just pulled him with my hand. Not one on one. Time. It was the greatest, you guys. Feel bad because I thought we were coming back because we were done. He was coming back to grab a coat. So I like oh. walked in, took off my shoes, took off my helmet. He's like, Dad, like, I'm ready to go. He's like, Dad, I got my coat. And I was like, we're going back out. Now yeah, the kids are into awesome. bed. Wrapped up this day. Great day. Picking out some running shoes for mom. The sun was shining today. It felt so good. It feels so good. It makes me so excited to continue running. I have doctor's appointments the next couple of days trying to figure out how to strengthen my legs and everything. With the sun shining, it made me feel alive. Yeah. <laughs> guys, we're going to need to bed. We love you. Come back tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be fun. We love you. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Dad just tried running how they explained to me to run. And You're pretty good. It's harder than Here, stay right there, guys. Oh my god. <laughs> Stop. I have my things in the thing. <laughs>